down. That one shot was filmed at our Frankenstein parking structure, dressed to look like a cliff. But uh, in all of those shots, it had to look like it was raining because it was raining in Hawaii when they were filming it on on a location. So we actually can create weather effects in movies and TV shows, and we're going to show you how we do that. Take a look over here on your left hand side. You notice that it's raining. Well. You ever watch like a baseball game or a football game or a soccer match and they always go, oh, uh, it's rained out. And you look on your screen and you're like, I can't tell that it's raining. It's very hard to photograph real rain. So we actually make the raindrops a lot larger than real raindrops, so it's easier for the camera to film them. However, where we currently are sitting, it's not raining on the vehicle. It's just raining in that direction on the left-hand side. So when you point your camera in that direction, it looks like it's raining everywhere. But really, it's only raining in the direction you point your camera. It's very important to keep camera and equipment, things like that, dry while you're filming uh, rain scenes. The flash flood is actually an act of Mother Nature. We didn't create that at all. That <laughs> flash flood was resulting in that. You can't have a wall, can you? Yeah, we'll see about that. Points Texas, one of the biggest Western stars in uh, film history. I've mosing on down these streets. But more recently, it was used to the film Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt. But to kind of demonstrate for you how once we decorate the. So, uh, it's currently dressed to look like the San Francisco Bay Area Bar Station. If you're from the Bay Area, you recognize the location. You did a great job in here, it looks. I forgot that